rhododendron occidentalis in front of Yosemite Falls, people. This is a native California rhododendron. It is so beautiful. It has a lot of flowers on this side because they're out of reach of people. <laughs> uh, I think everyone's picking them. It's unbelievably fragrant. If I could reach out here, and I'll do a little bit of zoom for you. And it grows kind of like in where it's pretty wet. This is obviously a big meadow area down at the bottom, about 4,000 foot elevation. This is a plant you could certainly grow in your garden. And you could grow this plant from cuttings, buy it from some native plant nurseries. Um, yeah, it's um, just a gorgeous, these things are all over Asia. The, all the, most of the rhododendrons you see in people's gardens with all the crazy big colors, those are native to Asia. And this is our beautiful native North American Western rhododendron. Isn't that pretty? And um, those are the people over there who just left me in the dust. So I'm gonna go get with them. But anyway, uh, think about using native rhododendron. Incredibly fragrant, and you don't have to have, have Yosemite Falls in your backyard to do it. Just any old garden in California needs a fair amount of water. This is a fairly wet location here. It's just above the flood plain. But uh, yeah, there you go. There they are in their height and glory. Rhododendron. Occidentale, the western rhododendron, growing along a beautiful little stream. And they are unbelievably fragrant. They are so intoxicating. I'm just gonna take a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Woo! Oh, they get me a little high, sorry. Endorphins. Ooh, yeah. There it is. There's your beautiful rhododendron shot. Whoops, sorry. <laughs>